Okay, so in the last episode we found out about Molly, who turned into a shark and everything. We found out about bad 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 the movie star, Calvin who flew, Sam who, well, I guess nature got revenge. Um, Walter who was just trapped decided to finally leave and just perished. And then we had Odin who was married to Ingeborg, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then this. Um, don't know. And this is us, obviously. And we have Milton that we don't really know anything about, right? It's a brother. And then we don't know anything about Lois. So. Oh, Lewis. Not Lois. Lewis. Yeah, this is where we left off. Yeah. Was it really this dark? I don't remember it being this dark. Am I supposed to go the uh, same way out or...? Okay. Okay. So was he married to Kay? I guess so. Well, look at it. Oh, you like just windows, or is it? Oh, it must be. Well, obviously windows, because I'm silly. I'm a silly goose. So, we, do we just go back the same way, or? Yes. So. Oh yeah, look, skylights. Where do we want to go now? Oh, that's where we came in. I'm on top of the world! Whoa. Pretty. I don't think I should go the same way. What is that? Okay, but so where do I want to go? Oh, there. Huh? All right. More crawling. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Hmm. Change control. Oh, oh, that's actually quite, quite nice. Oh no. Divorce contract. A lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days after this summon is served on you to file a written response to the attached complaint compliance petition with the clerk of this court. Okay. You will lose you may lose the case. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Hmm. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Possibly. What? What? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Hold on, sweetie. She just left the baby in there? What, 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 what? Oh, 
I can control it. Oh my gosh. I wonder what he saw. Wee! Meow. <laughs> what his world was like? <laughs> he reminded me so much of Calvin. Wow. Lost in his imagination. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Is this what happens when you don't have siblings? <laughs> Grey. Oh. Whatever it was that he saw. I want to get the whale down or oh. it sure made him happy <laughs> it makes me happy <laughs> look at that little one we I know how silly Whoa. it sounds. <laughs> uh oh. That I worry about a baby being too happy. But I could feel him slipping away. Uh oh. I know you did everything you could. No, she didn't. She picked up the phone while I was in the bath. If I Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold on, I don't want Grapefruit to hear this. Oh no. I wish he could have told us. Oh no. About the world he saw. Okay, there's so much I don't understand. Oh, anxiety. About Gregory? About oh, everything. Oh, my God. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. God. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Oof. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that one. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy crap. I have a kid of my own, you know? Ugh. I might just slip and fall or whatever. I always blame myself. <laughs> I couldn't imagine something like that. Holy. Oof. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. 
Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Mm -hmm. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Wow. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Mm. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Amazing if you could actually control a kite this way. I mean, I guess you sort of can now with drones and stuff, but those of us who are old knows that flying a kite is incredible. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus mm. declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh, oh no. wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went but all the humans did that day was go inside the tent hmm. but not our little hero oh my the rain came down in buckets then but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad went through the oh no Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, no. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Mm. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Oh. But I didn't. Until we found you. Hmm. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. That's a sad way to end things. With kites? Yeah. Can I climb it? No. <laughs> Raise like breakfast quiet time. Hmm. That sounds super boring. Oh. Can I? Yeah. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Hmm. Cute. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. Thank you. Wow. To teach, to teach critical thinking. Oh, that's really cool. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Hmm. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis wow. was born a year later. 
Well, they worked fast. I guess we're going up, huh? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Hmm. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Oh, baby. And to see kids in the house again. Hmm. They're like houses. I thought it was just like a... What is it called? Birch tree? We call them the uh, Bjark. Hmm. <laughs> More of the sardines or whatever. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I want this. It is beautiful. The <gasps> house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. This is an add-on. I guess. And for a while, things were good. Mm. Almost normal. She started to teach here. Reading is a hoot! Cute. But it didn't last. Hmm. Observation, observation, question, refrigerator. Experiments. Very, very important. Data and conclusion. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. Hmm. Who is doing all of these renovations and add-ons to this house anyway? After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Hmm. Yellow footprints. Oh, it's the magical door. Whoa. See a little genius? Oh my god. Gorgeous. Oh wow. would love to have something like that. I mean, not the elevator thing, because I'm not sure about uh, about that, but this whole room of just painting. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Hmm. Hold it. Four when Milton disappeared. Mm. Man. Mom spent months searching for my brother, mm. then she sealed the doors. Months. Can we open it? 
whatever Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Okay. Hold on. I went for a long fishing trip this weekend with my parents and uh, it got up really early in the morning and I was fishing all the way late in the evening and so my wrist hurts a little bit. <laughs> I can feel it now when I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> this doesn't look safe. I'm just gonna- Mom definitely Whoa. blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Hmm. Whoa. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. And you got a lot of fish. Louis. Everyone always told me to stay out of Louis's room. Except Louis. Hmm. Got an achievement for that. You, you weren't scared at all? Oh my gosh. There it is. His room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Wow, trippy. Wow. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Hmm. Whoa. Very twippy. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. <laughs> he died a lot. Or maybe he just pretended. Oh. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Mm. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, Lord. But can I... I don't want to... He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Hmm. What? Oh no, what do you want me to do? Hey, pokey pokey, pokey pokey. What did my mind begun begin to do? Wonder. Oh. Oh, it was a dude. I thought it was a little pigeon. I asked him to describe it. He mm. said he started small. I mean, don't... Imagining a labyrinth. He feel his most way Most of it? Most of us... Do that when we have to do a lot of mundane tasks. When something moves. Bats. And toads. Whoa. And things that have not names. He Whoa. knew it was all in his head. Nasty. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh my god! I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. 
I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Hmm. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. He's gonna chop off his freaking hand. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. It's getting bigger and bigger. He told me he'd made a new friend. Oh no. Oh baby! Oh my god, he's a good boy! Can On the I? edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh. Okay though. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Whoa! And songs for them to play. Wow! He talked about starting a band. <laughs> oh my god! And he was always humming something. Oh, that's me. This is literally me. I, I do this all the time. Don't everybody? Uh, when they have to do mundane things? He no longer spoke at the cannery. Oh well, I speak all the time. But mm -hmm. his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That what, the sword? In the hand? That all the cheering crowds, things? even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Hmm. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh. I am the king. He held an election for men. Oh my gosh. And he won. And he won. Of course. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Hmm. It became a game for him. Wow, are you serious? This is so cool. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Do I... Oh. New Louisville. New Louisville. Wow. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh, oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Wow. You can beg me all you want, lady. I am taking over more towns and chopping off the fish heads. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Uh, I mean, okay. I don't know. Handsome queen. Handsome queen? Wow. The queen was on her own quest for... Uh... Sin Radiant Evans. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's my little boat. It's my little boat. Go on, little boat. Oh no! Don't push down the rainbow. You have to go this way. Followed the sound of her. Whoa! Electric guitar. Silver harp. Yes. Silver harp. What if I miss them? Is our mom still trying to plead with us over there? His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. There's the golden palace. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh no! Don't run away from me, Lena! The world was all in his imagination. Let's 
getting difficult. But he was so proud of having created it. Whoa. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Hmm. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Interesting. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, mm. but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Mm. It was hard to argue with him. Interesting. So his mind just started to slip. It's my trippy closets. Everybody's got one of those. Began to forget the world we know. Hmm. This is uh, not a motivational place. I think it to remember place. Lewis, the cannery worker. Hmm. Hmm. Must smell great in here. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh, he's seeing himself. I still thought I could save him. Even after he oh. said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh my god. The palace would be packed with his companions. The faceless ones, huh? Bye, Henry. Thanks for all the fish. Wise Calico insisted on inviting him. Oh, Molly! Oh, that way. Thanks, thanks. Ah, uh, thank you, good sir. Queen waited, holding his ground. Sorry, just asking directions. Where do I go? Where do I... Uh... No? There was only one thing left to do. All of y'all skipping leg day, huh? Bend down his head. Oh my god. I think you know. Oh Mrs. my god. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh god. Holy crap. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Oh my god. Oh dude. I mean, let's, let's just let him have his devil letters. What the heck? I mean, God. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Snapping out of that one. Uh, moving on to the next uh, horror story. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, mm -hmm. my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Oh. 
Do we... I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Hmm. I wish we'd stayed. understand why we left. I do. Hmm. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Indeed. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Did they have falling out and Maybe that's why they just better. left? But it had to end one way or another. Whoa. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. What happened? That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. I guess we're following the lights. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. That's when my mom said the library, at I all. don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Hmm. Going into the melon door. Melon. It's not as magical on the other side. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call it out. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. What does she mean we'll by that? We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Hmm. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, we get to explore the house? It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Oh. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. Oh, I can imagine. No, I've seen that house every day of my life. Mm. Oh my gosh. But I never thought I'd go back to it. Well, when this not like this. In, I lost my way. Oh, no good. Oh my gosh. I got turned around. Yeah. 
But I wanted to see the house, oh no! For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Hello. Bye. -bye. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. Hmm. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Toilet. Or maybe I came back to them. Hi. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to oh. try and Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. I had, I had chills. Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! Mom, stop! I kicked <gasps> the screen, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Hmm. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. <laughs> She's not doing the dude that's jumping and by. running. I always did that. Like pretending my fingers were dude running and you have to jump over the trees and stuff. Whoa! My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better <gasps> for a while. Oh no. And then she didn't. Oh my god. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Hmm. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. You're being born? Go towards the light! This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Oh. I just want to meet you. Yep. That's exactly. Tell you all these stories myself. That's how it feels. I guess if you're reading this now. Oh no. Things oh. didn't work out that way. Oh no. Oh no. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. Oh my it's god. Ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Oh, God. Oh, man. Hmm. really know what to say there I actually didn't see that one coming when I saw the um, in the beginning you saw the hand and it had like a cast and then the next scene you had the, the really I commented that it was a really cute sweater <laughs> I thought it was just like oh we covered up the the cast I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, it's pretty strange we're all here, huh? Peaches and all. Yeah. Replay a story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Yeah. Hmm. That was a really good game just started out a little like what is this this is silly this is goofy and then it just became more and more just tragic and sad and then there was a twist oh man guys thank you for recommending this game to me um know some of you mentioned that there is a spin-off uh, about milton i think i will play that one this was really good it hit the feels thank you for that Leave a comment or like if you want to. Subscribe please if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time.